now let's see this question this question came in gate 2015 for two marks so this is the question an algorithm performs root login find operations and insert operations root login delete operations and root login decrease key operations on a set of data items with keys drawn from a linearly ordered data set so linearly ordered set is basically a set in in which uh, its elements can be linearly ordered uh, something like uh, let's say a list of integers where you can definitely have an linear ordered linearly ordered arrangement within the set of integers because you know which one is a smaller than or equal to or greater than or equal to uh, any particular other number okay so uh, for a delete operation a pointer they are saying that for delete operation a pointer is provided to the record that must be deleted also for decrease key operation a pointer is provided to, to the record that has its key decreased okay so for delete and decrease key operations they have provided the corresponding pointers okay which one of the following data structures is the most suited for the algorithm to use okay if the goal is to achieve best total asymptotic complexity considering all the operations okay so basically they are saying that we have root login root login find operations okay then they have n insert operations so n insert operations and then they have root login delete operations root login delete operations and finally they have root login decrease key operations and just writing a shortcut down arrow it is decrease key okay so these are the four operations these this these are the four operations and this this is the number of count how many times this find operation has to be done how many times uh, insert operation has to be done something like that okay so now let's talk about the different uh, data structures which, which they have given we have to find that for these many operations which is the most efficient uh, data structure okay so let's talk about firstly we will talk about all the four data structures okay so what i mean by that is that for a b c d a means for unsorted array we will try to find that find operation what is the time insert operation what is the time delete operation what is the time decrease key operation what is the time we will multiply later by uh, how many times each operation is done but for the time being in this column we will write down just number um, just the amount of time which is going to be taken uh, the asymptoting time complexity for a find operation so for a single find operation for a single insert operation and this a denotes that unsorted array what is the time going to be to be taken okay so let's start for so a uh, 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 array is unsorted if an array is unsorted then what is going to happen that when we, whenever we have to find anything we have to go and scan through entire array and that's why it is going to take order n so for a order n time is going to take for find for insert c it is unordered so we can simply append the item at the end so it is going to take a constant amount of time delete again if we have to scan then it will take order n time but c remember that for delete operation pointer is already given so we simply have to uh, delete that so c now let's say an unordered list something like 3 4 one two eight seven something like this is given and let's say one we are going to delete and the pointer to one is given so directly we can delete this but the problem is rest of the items have to be moved towards left so the final list will be something like three four two eight seven something like that so this rest of the items since they are going to be uh, so that if this is k rest of the items is k then order k is operation uh, the time going to be taken for this operation but 
this k in worst case can be order n why because it may be that you are deleting the first item so in worst case you can have order n operate uh, order n time complexity for delete also okay uh, what about decrease key see decrease key you are not deleting you are just going to some key and the, here also the record pointer is given you simply have to decrease the particular value so simply let's say 3 you are going to 4 you are going to make 1 so simply 3 1 2 8 7 you are not changing anything else just you are decreasing the key that's why it will it will take a constant amount of time which is order n we'll calculate late, later about the entire time taken but firstly let's go to the data structure b which is min heap okay for min heap find one, one we are talking about a single find one find is going to take how how, how much time so see in uh, in a min heap basically uh, whenever you have to find a particular item then you it is not a binary search tree sort of right so it is not that uh, you can have a differentiation that okay i have to go towards this path see you cannot differentiate that I have to go in this path and then my answer cannot be towards that this path. It cannot be something like that. Because if there is something like let's say this is min heap uh, where it is 5, it is 8 and it is let's say um, 2 or something like that. And it is let's say let's say 9, 10 uh, and then this is 12 or 18 something like that. Okay. So this is a min heap. But let's say you have to find 6 or let's say you have to find 9 then you cannot say that okay uh, since I have to find na uh, 9 so I have to go towards right uh, it is not a th that sort of a uh, ordered tree as which is uh, which is existing in a binary search so there is no binary search property also so essentially the problem boils down to is that you have to essentially scan the entire heap and find out whether that particular element exists or not this is not optimized for a search uh, min heap is not optimized for search and therefore it is going to take order n basically okay what about insert okay so insert is uh, somewhat uh, better than find what is happening that we have to just insert in insert what happens that whenever let's say uh, uh, let's say this is the current structure and you have to insert uh, this is the current heap structure and you have to insert a new element so what happens that basically you insert a new element and after that you just compare from this node towards the root this entire path you just compare it with its parent to see that where this particularly new element should be settled in the heap with respect to its heap property the property of the heap so basically you keep on swapping till the time it is required in order to settle it as per the heap property so basically in worst case you will go towards uh, the height of the heap which is going to be log n so here the time taken will be order log n okay what about delete delete also same so actually uh, delete also what will happen that let's let's say i'm going to delete uh, a particular node let's say uh, this node i want to delete so in delete what happens that the last node is swap it, it, this node is removed but at this place this new node will be placed so the last node will be actually kept here and this node existing node will be deleted and this last node will be kept here and after that putting this node so the new, the node which we wanted to delete that is already deleted but this new node which we uh, took it took it from here and put it here this might again violate the heap property so again we might have to go all the way uh, checking to towards the root root node in order to um, in order to settle the property of the heap so basically in worst case it can also go towards the uh, order of height which is basically order log n so basically you might be knowing that most of the operations in uh, min heap is any heap in, in fact is going to take order log n okay what about decrease key decrease key this is k okay so in decrease key operation what is going to happen is that basically we are going to a particular element and then after that we are going to decrease it but the problem is that we don't uh, hear the if we might have to scan but it is given that in decrease key we don't have to find that 
record instead of the pointer is already provided so we don't need to worry about that so if we have decreased this 12 to 11 then we don't have to search where is where is 12 this record is already given we simply make it 11 or let's say 7 something like that whatever dec decrement we have to do we'll do that but once we do that the property of the heap might be violated and again in order to settle that fix that we might have to again do the adjust operation which will again take height order height which is order log n okay so this is for min heap what about sorted array okay sorted array find is pretty simple you do just do a binary search so this is basically order log n i'm just deleting it from for now i'll keep it somewhere here later okay so order log n uh, insert operation okay so in insert operation basically uh, since it is sorted you might have to see that what is the proper place where it has to be sorted so you might remember the insertion short algorithm where we find that what is the proper place where it can be inserted and basically in order to find the proper place you might have to scan the entire list and therefore it is going to take order n time okay what about delete so delete will also take order n time because whenever you are going to delete any element you you will have to again adjust all the elements and fix it by moving all the elements toward the rest of the element uh, elements in the array towards left and therefore it is also going to take in worst case order n time as we discussed earlier that k elements for k elements it will take order k time but k can be in worst case uh, order n therefore the time here will be order n okay what about to finally decrease key in a sorted array in a sorted array again if you decrease key then basically you are just it is as good as replacing it with any other element so you don't know that how many, much you have decreased enough that uh, where you have to keep it but you know a particular direction where it has to be go it, it is to be going so if it is something like three four let's say um three four seven two nine five something like that okay and you are let ju ju just let's say that uh, um, you have taken a particular item and you want to decrease it so when it was unsorted we were not knowing that okay what we have to do but once it is sorted and something like two three four seven two three four seven two three four five two three four two three four five seven nine okay and if now nine has to be decreased to let's say something like two or three then you know that you have to put it at the proper place okay and you will have to do a, mm, a, a, a scan to uh, binary search to find the proper place where it has to be inserted but again once you have you are going to insert that then rest of the elements you have to again move towards the right in order to so let's say it you have decreased this to one so you have found by log n time that you have to insert it here but then in order to make this a space you have to move everything this towards the right okay so again this is going to take order and time okay now let's come back to dub, uh, sorted doubly linked list in sorted doubly linked list uh, we have to do find right so we cannot do binary search because it is not array based uh, so basically we have to scan through the entire list and it is going to take order n insert okay insert is also going to uh, take order n because we don't know where to insert in fact we it is a sorted one so we have to properly go to the place where it has to be inserted and like insertion short uh, what we did earlier with sorted array we have to again find it using a uh, scan of the entire list and it will take order n time okay what about uh, delete delete in sorted delete in sorted double linked list now this is interesting see since the w link w link list has a structure something like this okay so you have an access to the previous and next pointers okay and uh, what happens is that basically uh, you have the see in, in delete delete operation they have said that they have provided a pointer so you have the pointer access of here but since uh, it is a delete operation from this you can go and find what is the previous node pointer what is the next node pointer everything you can find out and you just simply have to remove it 
before setting it before send, uh, setting the previous next to the next node and uh, next nodes previous to the previous node and so it this node will be freed so basically it can be done in constant time that is what i wanted to say okay what about decrease key again see decrease key means that uh, you have completely violated you may have violated basically the sorted property of the double linked list and you have to properly go and insert it the prop at the proper place and for that you might have to scan through the list to find the proper place where it has to be inserted and it is going to be order n okay so most of the things are done now we just have to see that which of them okay so uh, the different number of operations are given and what is the time taken for each of the operation that we have calculated now we have to see that what is going to be the which is going to be the most efficient the data structure if we have if we want to implement such a thing okay so let's see uh, let's see so let's talk about a uh, we'll just write approximately so a will be something like uh, order what see uh, let's calculate this by multiplying this with this so basically n order n each find operation is taking and this is uh, root log n so basically this is order n root log n plus order n n into order 1 which is basically order n plus n root log n plus root log n okay so this is basically what this is basically order n root log n okay because this is the maximum term okay let's let's talk about b b is going to be c n root log n n root log n plus n log n n into log n n log n and plus uh, this is going to be log n raised to the power 3 by 2 plus uh, this is going to be log n raised to the power 3 by 2 the point is that you are understanding that this is going to be bigger than a c this uh, n log n because of this n log n term the, here uh, this n root log n is there and here n log n is there so definitely b overall complexity of b data structure which is min heap is going to be uh, more than um, the time complexity of a so we have to find the best asymptotic time so as of now a is the best so definitely b cannot be what about c c is again c order something like uh, log n raised to the power 3 by 2 log n raised to the power 3 by 2 and uh, what about n square and we might have to stop here only we don't care what it is because see it, it is it, it will overall come out to be order n square which is bad than order n root log in fact it is bad than order n log n also so it is worse than b also so as of now the a is most efficient what about d see for d uh, n into log n okay so n into root log n so as of now n root log n what about uh, next one next one is n square okay here also we'll stop it here only because it is going to be n square c order n into n which is going to be n square bad 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 okay so as of now we see that this also is not a good data structure uh, efficient most efficient one for our purpose for our purpose a is the most efficient one because it is giving us this data structure so whatever you might think but the thing is that unsorted array unsorted array is the most efficient data structure which we can use that is non sophisticated simple unsorted array that is our answer a is the answer